Have you ever worked in a team? I'm sure you have. And I'm sure you have some memories or images in your mind now that reminds you or takes you back to that situation. Maybe it was in school where you felt that you have free riders on your team. Or it was in a work context where the teams and the, the people you would work with would change very often. Or it is in your own startup where it becomes really crucial to get the right team members on board. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You know about the doubts and the questions you might have in those team settings that you don't dare to ask. Or the feelings that come along with working in teams that you may not be able to express and that may become an obstacle in the work with your team members. Well, my name is Jutta Jährlich and I have been teaching, loving to teach collaboration and co-creation for over 15 years now. Why do I do that? Well, I believe that we are made to collaborate and to co-create. That's the core meaning of life. We are here on this earth to create things together. And somehow we don't really learn that anymore in our upbringing, in our schools, there's less and less time for getting that experience of how it actually works. And that's the key. This is something that you can't learn from books. This is something, something that you have to experience. This is not anything theoretical that you can just be told and then do it right. You have, actually have to do it. You have to experience it. So that's what's driving me to offer these programs to engineering students from very, very different backgrounds. This is uh, an added level of uh, complexity if you're working with people with, from different backgrounds. The interdisciplinarity is uh, yeah, what makes it even more difficult to find ways to communicate to each other that actually trans ports that meaning that you are intending to, to pass on to other people when you communicate. There is a big personal part of my motivation, of course. I've been in lots of different kind of business partnerships or teamwork as in a playground, as in a sandbox myself to create new ideas to create products and services out of those ideas together with others. I really love to get that feedback from others to my ideas and to put it all together like a big puzzle and see what comes out of it. So all of these experiences of mine, the experience of working with several thousands of young engineering students from different backgrounds and the teams they have formed over the last 15 years. This is what has led me to creating this basic foundation that are the concept behind the programs that I'm teaching. And a very, very important point, you know, when we collaborate with others, when we co-create something, it is something exciting. It is something that's supposed to be fun because when we are in a happy place, when we are really having access to all of our abilities and competences, that's when we are the most creative. And that's why fun and humor has to have a place in the space of collaboration and co-creation. So I would like to invite you to join me on my explanation on my definition and on my story on how my collaboration and co-creation programs came into existence. <laughs> 